If you're not sure how to combine spices to turn your dinner into a flavorsome and palate intriguing dish, this episode is for you. Skip the blend is our motto today and the recipe we're sharing proved to be a perfect example of that. Can't wait to watch, get comfortable as we are starting right away. First things first, get your kettle with boiling water ready. In a medium bowl, combine 200 grams of couscous with half of a crushed chicken bouillon cube. Add hot water just to cover the couscous and cover the bowl with a kitchen towel. Now, let's make some flavorful harissa paste. Harissa paste is made from a whole bunch of good spices, which are all listed in the description below, as well as the entire recipe. Before combining all of them, soak four medium-sized dried whole chili peppers in hot water for 20 minutes to dehydrate and soften. Slightly toast two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, and one teaspoon of caraway seeds in a pan to wake up the aromatic oils and let the seeds cool. When peppers are soft, tear them apart and remove the seeds. Dried chili peppers can be extremely hot, so if you haven't tried them before, it's a good idea to test the level of their spiciness first. In a small food processor, combine deseeded peppers, a red pepper jarred, 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, 20 grams of sun-dried tomatoes, 3 medium cloves of garlic, 2 tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, 1 tablespoon of apple cider, 50 milliliters of olive oil, 2 seed seeds, and 1 teaspoon of salt. Whiz it about 4 to 5 minutes to crush the seeds and everything else into a thick sauce or paste. Transfer to a small bowl and set aside. Slice one medium red onion into half circles and fry in a large pan with a tablespoon of vegetable oil until softened and translucent. Transfer to a plate and return the pan to the stove. Add about 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil, let it get hot, and place 600 grams of chicken fillets to fry. Season with about 1 teaspoon of salt, cook on medium heat until the chicken is golden brown on one side. Flip the fillets to another side and fry them until brown for about 3 to 4 minutes. Now, when you have a little bit of time, combine 200 ml pomegranate juice and 1 tablespoon of pomegranate molasses in a measuring jar and give it a good stir. Spread the cooked onions over the chicken and scatter all of the harissa paste over the onions. Then stir in the mixture of pomegranate juice and molasses. Simmer uncovered for about 5 minutes, then add another half of crushed chicken bouillon cube. Stir and simmer another 5 minutes until the sauce has thickened. By this time, chicken should be cooked through as well. At this point, the couscous should be ready too. Stir in one half of the cup of the toasted crushed almonds and fluff up the mixture with a fork. Mince a few leaves of fresh mint and combine with the couscous and almonds. Plate the chicken fillets in a row with couscous on the side and generously spoon over the sauce from the pan. Garnish with fresh mint leaves and a couple of tablespoons of pomegranate seeds per portion and let yourself relish this dish, which I suspect very quickly will become one of your and your family's favorites. 
Hope folks you liked the idea of this chicken and couscous dinner and thanks for watching. If we could inspire you today, hit those subscribe and bell buttons for more and check out other Fabit's recipes. This was it for today, stay well and let's meet again in the next video.